Hello, everyone. Welcome to Clara's Feng Shui Cafe. I've got many people asking me this question: Is there a difference when applying Feng Shui in the northern and southern hemisphere? For people living in the southern hemisphere, do we have to reverse the Bagua map? These are all very good questions. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the two different perspectives in Feng Shui regarding the sitting and facing directions of the northern and southern hemisphere. The first point of view is that the Bagua map should be reversed in southern hemisphere. When applying Bagua map in southern hemisphere, such as Australia, New Zealand, Indonesia, or Brazil. North and south should be reversed. East and west should also be reversed. This means that the position of the green dragon, the white tiger, the red phoenix, and the black turtle are all reversed. This is based on the fact that in the northern hemisphere, north is colder while south is warmer, while in the southern hemisphere, it's the opposite. North is warmer, while south is colder. This is because if you are in the northern hemisphere, the equator is in the south. But if you are in the southern hemisphere, the equator is in the north. People who hold this view believe that in the northern hemisphere, the equator is the furthest south, while the North Pole is the furthest north. For people in the southern hemisphere, the equator would be the furthest north, while the South Pole is the furthest south. So, when applying Feng Shui Bagua map to conduct Feng Shui analysis, people who hold the first point of view believe that the Bagua map needs to be reversed. The second point of view is that the Bagua map. Is the same in northern and southern hemispheres. People who hold this view believe that no matter where you are on the planet, the compass directions don't change. This is because the Earth's magnetic fields are affected by other planets in the universe, such as Saturn and Jupiter. When analyzing Feng Shui, the Earth should be viewed from the perspective of the universe. If we reverse the directions in the southern hemisphere, does that mean the sun will be rising from the west and setting in the east? So people who hold the second point of view believe that no matter where you are on the planet, whether you are in the northern hemisphere or southern hemisphere, the directions of the compass doesn't change. Therefore, the Bagua map should not be reversed. So these are the two different perspectives on how to apply feng shui in northern and southern hemisphere. What do you think? Please leave your comments below. If you like my video, please give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel.